You know what's becoming overwhelming besides cameras these days? Tripods. There are a million different brands, models, and I don't know about you, but I just need a tripod that doesn't break on me after just a month of use. So if you are looking for a reliable tripod, one that you can just count on at a wedding, one that is also super affordable, like under $100 affordable, yeah, it's the one we're talking about today. What's up everybody, Jared with an I here. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I am a wedding filmmaker and storyteller in North Carolina. This channel is all about giving you the confidence to lean into a full-time career as a wedding filmmaker. We do a lot of camera reviews, editing tips, gear reviews, just like this one. So if you're into that sort of thing, it would mean a lot if you consider subscribing. And before we dive into today's topic, you can find all the links to the products that I'm listing in the description below. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So around eight or nine years ago, when I first started this filmmaking journey, I was honestly in need of a tripod, one that was reliable, one that I could count on, and no, not the one that you could go to Best Buy and pick up for $20. I needed something that was a little bit more professional. And that's when I stumbled on the three pod tripod. This guy has lasted me seriously nine years. It's honestly one of the last pieces of gear that has been with me since the beginning of this journey, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. Because as gear comes and goes, you know, tripods, they just wear and tear over time. And it's not like I've been gentle with this tripod. I mean, I've thrown it around, kicked it. I mean, it's been through, you know, weathered situations. It's definitely become one of my most reliable pieces of gear that I own. And it's also incredibly underrated in the market, weighing in at about 8.6 pounds and also giving you a max payload of around nine pounds. You can easily fit a cinema camera like the C100, C200, and of course, DSLR and mirrorless cameras. It comes with the K2 video fluid head, and I got some really good use out of this video head until about like three years in, I decided that I wanted to upgrade the video head to more of a Manfrotto, one that I'm more comfortable with using, and one that was more consistent across the board with my other tripods. Since most of my base plates are Manfrotto, it just made sense to, you know, use a Manfrotto video head with this tripod. When I first purchased this tripod, it was roughly around $200. And after looking on Amazon, you can actually pick this tripod up for less than $100. And I don't know if that's a typo right now, because if you look at the product description, it shows a light, but I think this is actually real life. You can actually go on Amazon in the link below. Look at the whole package. It is $82 right now. If you go to Adorama's website, Adorama, Adorama, if you go to that website, it is $120. So if you are in the market for a new tripod and you're not looking to break the bank or this is your first tripod you are considering, the three pod is one I would highly recommend based on my experience with it. The fact that I've had this tripod for nine years and that it's less than $100 right now on Amazon is really spectacular. Of course, if you wanted to upgrade the fluid head that comes with it, like I said, you will get a lot of good use out of the K2, but I do personally like the Manfrotto video heads a lot better. Um, just ones that I'm more comfortable with, they're easy to use, the pan and tilt functions are really smooth. And honestly, they just look really nice. I just like the look of the Manfrotto video heads uh, personally, but that will add a little bit to the overall cost of this tripod. I think the cheapest video head from Manfrotto right now um, that I would recommend the 500 series is like 150 bucks. It does bring that up to over $200, but you're also getting a video tripod package for less than $300. So really just weighing those options and see what's gonna work best for you and your budget. But like I said, you can still get some great use out of the K2, but if you just wanted to save a little bit extra monies, you can just go with the one on Amazon right now and save some money for that video head later on. A couple of the features that I really love on this tripod is the locking knobs. Um, I just think they're really solid and well-made. Um, they're easy to uh, navigate and adjust in a pinch. And I haven't had any issues with these locking pins like sticking like I have had with some of the Manfrotto models. Um, these have just been really great and uh, yeah, haven't had any issues with it in nine years. So. Uh, 
Also the mid-level spreader on the tripod, which I personally like, just to give me that extra bit of stability when filming. It also has the bubble level, which I prefer, opposed to my other Manfrotto tripod that adjusts based on the legs, and I don't personally like those. For some reason, I can just never get the level just right on my other Manfrotto tripod because I'm able to adjust and dial that in to get the right level instead of having to punch in later on in my edit because I didn't have a level shot, so that's, that's never fun. Love that. So when it comes to the perfect budget-friendly tripod that is going to serve you well and be a reliable resource when it comes to wedding filmmaking, the three pod is by far my favorite. You know, like I said, I might be a little biased just because it is honestly the last piece of gear that I own that has just seen it all. It's been with me on every single shoot. It's been there through the good times, through the bad times. I just, I just hope it doesn't ever, ever break. Fingers crossed. Next wedding idea is probably gonna break. So yeah, that is really the end of this week's video. I know it was kind of a short one, but it's one that I wanted to create for you guys because I know tripods are just, they're really overwhelming right now because there's so many different variations, so many models, and honestly, most of them are really expensive. It's just as much of an investment as, you know, a camera lens or a camera, and so, Really, I want to give you guys a helpful resource in what has really worked well for me in my business and hopefully one that also does the same for you. So thank you guys so much again for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and valuable in some way. I'd love to hear from you guys, so drop a comment below. Let me know what's your favorite tripod to use right now. Is it the three pod? Is it a Manfrotto tripod? Is it a Benro tripod? Is it something else entirely? I'd love to hear from you guys. And until next time, keep creating and telling beautiful stories. Peace. On this patchwork heart.